It's Crash Bandicoot. Oh, we only have three lives. Ah, uh, it, it must. Oh, we only have two lives. <laughs> Should we go back to like an earlier level and... No, we'll save and we'll come off and we'll lose all the lives we had. I think <laughs> it works like that. Ah. Uh... So you may as well just uh, get used to getting game overs, you know, because it doesn't matter. It's true, yeah. Me and Charlotte have just been playing uh, 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 Pokemon, the new one that's come out. Oh, it's, Violet. It's got that on Violet. Even though I don't really like how Crash looks in this, this game looks so much better. Than oh, it <laughs> does, doesn't it? It's not even close. The, this game's just got style. Like it knows what it's about. It knows yeah. what it wants to be. Yeah, but also they got people who actually know how to make three D assets to make the three D assets. Is that a jump I can do? Oh, you can land on the cold. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, is that hitting you? Is it? Is it? Oh no, it's hitting the oh. thing behind you. I thought it was coming off your head. <laughs> I want to be Goopy Crash. Oh, oh. What the? <laughs> I thought, I thought You're back it, up, baby. Yeah, I thought it'd give me a little time. But yeah, I thought I'd get burnt by the blue ones and then frozen by the. Burnt by the red ones, <laughs> frozen by the blue ones. I was going to say, you sure about that? <laughs> it's nice to be playing a game that controls properly. Is this just going to be this, the Pokemon, uh, I was going to say Sword and Shield, is this just going to be the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet hate episode of Crash? It, it might be, yeah. That's what we've been playing, and like, <laughs> so man, mind. we're glad we didn't spend money on it. Yeah, we, we got it as um, a give up giveaway prize. Woo! That's what we ah. say, to so we don't get arrested. <laughs> no, no, it's literally what happens. It is legit true, which is Sh nice. Charlotte put up the tweet that you got. Okay. Yeah, Charlotte won a giveaway. For the game, because she was like, "Well, I'm not going to buy it. Yeah. Let's just emulate it or yeah. something." Yeah, and then it was like, "Oh, I won! Cool, we can play it legally. Excellent." <laughs> yes, I'm having fun with Pokemon Violet, but but it's bad. It, it's bad. Like, don't, it's fucking terrible. Don't buy it until Nintendo patches it. No, Nintendo said there's nothing wrong with it. You don't need to patch yeah. it. Remember, this is true. I did. They see haven't him. had a single complaint. Remember. They haven't had to issue all these refunds oh. that they've been issuing, remember? Uh, yeah, I, I was just on Twitter as well, and yeah, they were just like, come to the Paldea regions, blah, blah, blah. And every comment underneath was just like, when's the patch? Guys, this isn't good enough. It's not good enough. And I went into the quote retweets, and they were all like, guys, look at all the hidden comments. Oh, man. And it was like, Nintendo, no. <laughs> Can't just go hiding comments that you don't like. This is Elon's Twitter, what are you going to do about it? Cuck. <laughs> <laughs> Free speech, motherfucker, I'm going to say what I want. I love Crash. Like, we haven't played this in a long time, and yeah. I still feel like I know what I'm doing in it. It's so, you can just pick up and go. It's got good animations. Yeah. <laughs> good animations in a video game? What is this, 1995? <laughs> it's going back into the past. To play these shitty games that suck ass, I agree. Whoa! <laughs> That kind of sucks. Yeah, ass. see, it should like stop for a second. Yeah. Give you a moment. <laughs> That's a little off, yeah. <laughs> Mostly I don't like the new designs in Pokemon. I am not a fan of most of the designs. Like Pokemon and people. The people look bad, the Pokemon look bad. How do you mess that up? Yeah. And still release it. And then not have good physics. Just oh They don't have good anything. Nothing works in the game. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. Like the people, I keep looking at them and it's like, do they just have a random assortment of features that they're meshing together for like random trainers? I don't know. Because it feels like, you know, there's like certain body types, certain head types and eyes and they've just like, you know, mishmashed it. What I don't like is how none of the battles are worth doing. They're all brain dead easy. Oh, yeah. Trainers have one Pokemon. Like me and Charlotte, we were playing Emerald in our downtime before this came out. We were like, "Well, we're not getting that." Yeah. Emerald's full of like these really strategically placed double battles that actually uh, are fun and difficult and challenging. Yeah, and if you don't want a double battle, you don't have to talk to them separately. It's really well designed. And then you get to Scarlet and Violet. And, and it's not. And it's not. It's, it's just. It's just not. <laughs> There's nothing else to say, really, is there? No. It's just not a complete game. Was well, it? You, you heard a thing about the champion? Got... Oh yeah, I d we haven't fought her yet. I guess mild spoilers. Apparently, the champion they have a Pokemon. But this is just boring Pokemon shit. If you don't care, like, sorry, we'll shut up soon. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, 
Here, Whoa. you've got this one. The champion has like a setup Pokemon. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it's called, I haven't seen it yet. But I heard from someone that they've got a setup Pokemon where you hit it and it leaves toxic spikes on the ground. And if you don't know, all that does is it makes your Pokemon get poisoned when they switch into battle. So it's a really good thing to put out first, because then, you know, the whole length of the battle, your opponent's getting poisoned. It's just, you know, you're just putting pressure on it. Yeah. It's He's her last yeah. Pokemon. When no more switching will be done. Just, you know, the Pokemon games have done this thing for a couple gens now, where the trainer's, like, ace Pokemon comes out last. Yeah, and it always comes out last. It's, or always, guaranteed. It's guaranteed to be her last Pokemon every yeah. time. Like, Leon will always send out Charizard last. It's that sort of thing. Yeah. Hey, Tana, who's your new favourite Pokemon? She oh. didn't like him. She didn't like him. She was like, no, I'm, go I'm going back to Gen 1 with Cortex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Gen 1 and Crash. <laughs> I choose Charizard. Of course you do. Of course you do. What Pokemon does Cortex pick? Ooh, let's see. Well, it's got to be some science-y. Mm. It's not a Pokemon, but he'd, he'd definitely, if it was, he'd definitely pick a Viker from our odd world. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's basically a Viker. Put a picture of a Viker. I, it was my birthday recently, my brother got me... Um, Maybe my brother, my mum, my family got me, let's say, just to keep it simpler, they got me some Oddworld oh. stuff. And one of them was the Oddworld art book, and it's got some cool pictures of, you know, Lorne Lanning's hmm. uh, designs of all the Oddworld yeah. stuff. And seeing how much effort they put into Oddworld compared to how... Whoa! Yeah, how little of a shit Game Freak give about Pokemon. It's like, there's some devs out there who care. Ah, oh, Lorne deserves the world, right? He's... <laughs> He put he's, so much effort in. He's put his heart and soul into it. really shows. Yeah, into the designs and the level, and just, he's made a whole world. Oh! Uh, that didn't go well. No. But I had to keep going. <laughs> Gotta to commit to the bit. If you're going through hell. Stop and say hi to me. No, nobody else wants to be there. I think they've got fly Gehrig mushrooms. fly Gehrigs? Yeah. Growing in a cave? In a cave. Those motherfuckers. Those are woodland mushrooms, if anything. <laughs> But a picture of the fly garrigs we found. Those are the big old Mario mushrooms that make you trip like fuck. But they make you really sick, so you actually shouldn't eat them. Yeah. Oh. Drug advice with Zeke, who's never taken any psychedelics ever. Yeah. Are, are fly garrigs the one that reindeers eat and then you drink their wee? Yeah. What they do is, like, people would, you know, they'd notice them eating them and not getting sick. And someone, I don't know, what masterminded this idea? Probably the same guy who first thought to milk a cow, am I right? Yeah. But anyway... This person was like, well, they ate those mushrooms that make me really sick and trip balls. What if I drank their piss? And it worked. Yeah. And apparently that's where um, flying reindeer in the story of Santa comes from. What a world we live in. Yeah. Santa was both invented by the Coca-Cola company and reindeer <laughs> piss. Incredible. <laughs> what a combination. I, I can't believe there would ever be a crossover. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe we live in a world where that would ever happen. Coca-Cola, here's a story about a man who you only see when you drink rainbow piss, and they're like, oh man, that sounds perfect for a... Damn it, that sounds perfect for our brand. <laughs> yeah, apparently they're the reason he's red. I remember hearing that, like, before that he was green. I hear he was green like an elf, I don't know if that's true. Yeah, well, I... Oops. God fucking damn it, your pill-shaped hitbox. It's tricky, because, like, if you try and stop, he loses all momentum, and then you don't make it to the box, but if you don't stop, then you just fly over it. The, the reason it's hard is because in the original, you would hit these there. That You would have hit that. Mm. You would have stomped on that, because the tips of your toes would have got it. And in this, you don't, because you're a pill. Flashback to the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded this months later, and I still complain about it. Yeah. When I eventually start Pokemon, there is a glitch that lets you skip the entire story and never have to do it, and I'm doing that because the story fucking blows. The story's so bad. There's not a single cool character in the game. If, if there is, fucking I'm... Fucking hell, here you go. Oh, <laughs> I just, like, wanted to commit to just, like, go forward, go forward, go forward. And then the second I hesitated, I died. You know if you hold jump, you'll go higher, right? No, I didn't. Oh! Fuck you! Yeah. I was going to say, where the hell are you? 3D, <laughs> motherfucker! Yeah! <laughs> the door is fun. I like these super springy platforms. Ooh. Jesus. Oh my Christ, can save you now. It's true, Crash, you need to repent. 
That's what Cortex's plan's been all along. <laughs> you need to repent. You yeah. need to convert, Crash. <laughs> you can't be a Buddhist Islam anymore. doesn't have all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> we both went to a different religion. <laughs> You don't think Crash supports Islam? <laughs> no, I said he was a Buddhist. <laughs> Stop leading those other religions. Come to Cortex Power. <laughs> oh, God. Cortex Power. Every, everyone paints their face yellow. <clears throat> what, like racistly? Keep off the grass, Crash. <laughs> that is Cortex Powered Grass. How dare you? Cortex Powered Grass. What does that mean? I don't know, it's just this is Cortex power, so everything must be powered. By Cortex. Yeah. There's a little hamster wheel at the end of the level, and when you find him, he goes, <gasps> and runs away. <laughs> and everything up. shuts down, and that's why you beat him. He's really embarrassed. <laughs> the idea of him turning, just going, <gasps> and he leaves. He's been... <laughs> he, ju he just scarpers away. It's with a total his... Wizard of Oz situation, you know. <laughs> You're pulling back the curtain. Yeah. This just makes me wonder what's down the other path. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Don't fuck it. It'll we already kill you. said we weren't gonna. We've got to take this stand somewhere, right? Yeah. Well, we're not backtracking. The nice thing about Crash as well is that, like, we haven't played this in quite a while now. Mm. And, like, look at this, we're in the last world and we just jump straight back in. Yeah. It's just nice. If, if you've got the, the gamer skills. You've got the raw skill and game sense, yeah. like me. Is that pinstripe? Did you beat him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting that. Fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, that's not worth it. Well, I do have this. I didn't even get it. Aw. <laughs> it wasn't even worth it. It's not even the right way to go. Look out for the goo crash. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. That's a genuine <laughs> Oh, we can't it's, jump over that. That's when uh, crash hits puberty. Whoa. Whoa, guys, easy. Are you backtracking here? I was trying to, ah. just to see. I'm not doing that, though. Hey, oh. see ya. Later, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love Crash's like running face. Just, uh, uh, uh. Crash does look really good in this. There's just something a little off about him. He's not quite there. Okay. Nailed it. Don't care about backtracking though. Sorry. Yeah. No, th this perspective for this level is just kind of giving me a bit of a headache. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm sorry. It's, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's making my eyes hurt. This is how you used to play every game in the 90s, like Pokemon and shit. Yeah. All that isometric shit. Then you see it in real life and you're like, oh, actually, this art style's weird. No, everything's drawn wrong and you look at isometric sprites and stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, you tried. Oh, there's not actually that many crates in this level. No, oh, wonder all the rest of them are then. Uh, there's alternate paths and stuff. I remember this one being quite hard. I just was backtracking. It's the one thing... See, like, his pillbox keeps falling off these if I do it near the edge. Watch this. <laughs> okay, now play back the other one and mirror it so it's on the other side of the screen so it looks like I did it. Can I leave that bit in? What? <laughs> <laughs> I like that less than... I may have said it before, I think they've used this before. I like that less than the original one. Yeah. The original one, he's just sort of staring at you. Oh. We'll put a clip of it. Put it on that TV on the left. TV on the left. You decide, America. <laughs> this Which can... cortex is yours? <laughs> this cannot be undone. Whoops. <laughs> Small move the cortex. Yeah. Small tax. Hoi. That's gonna fall. I'm going. Oh. Oh. That's just... Oh, back there. It'll come back. It'll come back. Good. They so always do. Oh, they always do. They always <laughs> come back. They always come crawling back. Whoa. My turn. Yeah. Gonna oh, oh, that's gonna fall. Wow, that's mean. That's <laughs> really mean. Hope you got all your goodies, because they're gone. Luckily I did, but that's mean. <laughs> yeah, this this crash has fallen victim to, lot, to what a lot of uh, games like this in the past tend to do. What's that? Uh, just Will getting... That kill me? Probably. Just like, get... Oh, oh I that's... thought he was way ahead Yeah, of that. that's mean. So getting rid of the floor and just having an infinite abyss of death under you as, you know, the game progresses. Mm. I know oh. yeah, have another go at that. Thank you. I know um I know um my brother Eric um 
that's his uh, least favourite thing about the Splatoon single player levels. Oh. It's just like, why is every level pillbox at its finest? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, why is every level just like this random assortment of square blocky assets floating above a void of water? Come on, Crash! <laughs> But and no it's like it's it's definitely true. I think those levels would be much better if they looked like you know the, the multiplayer levels. But yeah. Theme different. A couple of them are fine, but it's literally all of them. It's like that's not a sustainable world that anyone would live in. Mm, I I know for some of Splatoon, it's like oh, the world flooded and whatnot, but it's like there's, oops. My the, yeah. There's still societies and cities around. Like, how do, how do people live there? That's the thing. right? Yeah. Especially like in uh, the first two, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're, you're invading the Octo base, and it's like, and it's like, well, how... why does it look? Shit, you why does it look like that then? Yeah, why does it just look like a bunch of floating geometry in the sky? It's like, where's the city? Because it's easier to make that way. That's really the truth of it, oh. and that's a very valid reason, right? Mm. I mean, because you get very tight level design like this, where you have to do things the way they're intended, or not at all. Mm. Oh, oh, I was trying to avoid oh, that motherfucker. It. Again, to bring back uh, Pokemon. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we don't like you that know, game, Randy. <laughs> you know, uh, this one's supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, open world, do whatever you want. Uh, no, it isn't. There's... That's a lie. It, it is a lie. You can, but my god, you're going to get, like, blocked by levels because there's a set path they want you to do. All the bosses we beat, we were, like, 40 levels lower than them. Or uh, except for the second one where we were like ten, ten levels Was lower. Was that really it? Man. Huh. Tony, you could have done that. <laughs> That's so much... <laughs> that was like a level one level. What the fuck was that about? Oh. That should really stop yeah, for just, just a moment. Just give us a second. I'm not asking for much, man. Just a moment. Just, just a moment of your time to talk about our lord and saviour, Cortex Power. <laughs> <laughs> Lord and save your cortex power. Did you know he powers this whole thing with a hamster wheel? That's incredible. I know, you should... What the fuck oh, was that? Oh, come on, game. I thought that was glass and shit. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, thank you. It's not hard, but fuck you, game. Look, if he's strong enough to power a whole facility with a little hamster wheel, I don't know, he must be some sort of holy entity. Hmm? Must be some True. sort of divine beast. Yeah, I mean, look, look at all this. Look, look at him. We've got floating He's platforms. fucking gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's holy. Whoa! Surprised you didn't just diagonal jump. I was tempted to, but then I got scared. Nearly perfect, but you died. Oh. They wouldn't give us the gem because we died. I guess. Bullshit, man. <laughs> that said, we had 52 out of 52 boxes. I thought we were going to at least get that gem. Yeah, because I didn't see a gem, otherwise I would have grabbed it. <laughs> no, but there was the boxes that were full. Nearly there. It ain't much longer. Oh, oh. It is when you do that. It is when you do that. Why does it still say heavy machinery? I don't know. <laughs> you saw go. that, didn't you? I saw that, yeah. And then we came back and it was like, oh, this is Koala Kong. Right. Oh, oh I no. I hate this level. I hate this level. Oh, I hate this level. I hate it when they bounce. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, oh it's bad. Oh, rats. I'll be with you in a second, fella. Hey, you should throw them just like a little bit left. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I want to throw it at someone. You know, the upper body strength. With my little noodle arms. Buff Crash was the one from the PS2 game. Yeah? Yeah, they made like Crunch Bandicoot or something. Ah. And he was the bad guy and nobody liked him. Not even Julian. Oh! <gasps> That's how you know he was bad. He didn't even he have was, sex appeal. He was a big muscle man, and Julian from Only Plays, and, you know, I guess... So one, be, one game. Yeah, to be more accurate to his current uh, positions. Uh, even he didn't want to fuck him. <laughs> even Julian! That's not fair, I just I just know he likes the buff it, men. It, it, he, li like, if he, he likes Tiny Tiger, and he doesn't like that guy. Yeah. Who's just oh. tiny tiger but crash? Oh, I'm just thinking. I don't know that many furries. <laughs> and all the ones I do know are busy playing Pokemon. Oh God. Okay, you see those marks on the floor? Yeah. That's where they bounce. So oh. That's where they hit the floor. Okay. So, so if you stand, if I stand there, here. Okay. Oh, he's doing that. He's doing that. I... Here we go. No! 
Ooh. <laughs> Bravo. Thanks, man. No, come oh, on. Come I was not on that. You weren't. Go fast. You gotta. Yeah. Them lives. I think this one also said you get a gem for not dying, and it's like, well, that ain't happening. No. Ooh, Ooh. Jesus. You pillboxed, motherfucker. <laughs> these wouldn't, these things wouldn't be happening if he just was shaped like Crash should be. Yeah. Look at, look at how flat his feet are. There's no way those should be round. That didn't kill you, but no. it definitely nudged you. I saw it. It nudged me completely. Yeah. Yeah, no gem, because we didn't... Because we died. Because we died. That sucks. Yeah. There it is. It's pro Jared. <laughs> Damn. Not not mincing words. <laughs> it looks just like him. Oops. Come on, man. It's a really boring boss fight. We'll just uh, sort of fast forward this one. Yeah. Look at that child's drawing he's got. <laughs> is that him shooting you? Yeah, that's his plan. <laughs> So what? What's the law? Torna dumps you for him. Oh! I don't think that's true. Why would that be true? I thought I thought that was what I read somewhere. Where on fanfiction.org? Like it might have been fan.wiki, but I've never heard this. I'm pretty sure that was it. It's like they broke up after like this this game, and then Torna went on to you know date Pinstripe. Why Pinstripe? Why would you date Pro Jared? You've got this. Yeah, it's just a boring one. Like, you yeah. end up dying a lot because you're waiting for him to stop being a dick. Yeah. Go. Please don't kill us. Yeah. Be the first boss that doesn't kill us. Yes. Thank you, Pro Jared. 